Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure AWS CLI on Windows operating system. Then we will see some examples. Okay, first go to any search engine and search for download AWS CLI for Windows. Hit enter. So click on installing or up updating to latest version of AWS CLI. Click on this AWS CLI. The AWS command line interface is an open source tool that enables you to interact with AWS services using commands in your command line shell. With minimal configuration, the AWS CLI enables you to start running commands that implement functionality equivalent to that provided by web browser based AWS management console from the command prompt in your terminal program. See, for AWS CLI install and update instructions, click on this windows, then download the latest release by going to this AWS CLI MSI installer. Click on it to download. See, click on it. See, download started. Go to download. See here, its size is 39 megabytes. See, download is completed. Now, click on this AWS CLI MSI file. Click on it. Click on next. Read the license agreement and click on this. I accept the terms in the license agreement and click on next. See, this is the default installation location. If you want some other location, click on browse and select location. Click on I'm okay with this default location. Then click on next. Click on install. See installation is completed. Click on finish. Now open CMD or PowerShell. Okay. Then run the AWS hyphen hyphen version. See we have installed AWS CLI and its version is 2.27.45. Okay. Now we will configure the AWS CLI. Okay. To configure we must have the IAM user information okay so run the aws configure hit enter now it is see it is asking access key id and then later it will, it will ask secret key also so you must have the this so connect to aws console and create user now in search box search for iam click on this iam service or click on services then click on security identity and complaints then see here we have the iam click on iam both are same click on this iam service now go to users see i have this user let me create another user for this demo purpose click on create user then provide the name aws cli user name can be anything see if you want provide user access to the AWS management console you have to select the checkbox see if you want to select this is optional then select it okay then we have to select user type like specify a user identity center or I want to create I am user okay see here we have two options so then provide the password I am going to provide custom password instead of auto generated password See, you must satisfy these conditions. Okay. Then, user must. I don't want to change the password. At next sign in. Then click on next. Now we have to grant the permissions. So I am going to attach the existing policies. For this demo purpose, I am giving administration access. But in your case, provide the permissions based on the user requirement. So click on next. See, this is a summary of the user. Okay, click on create user. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on create user. See, we got the, this is the console password for this user. 
and this is a console sign in url username okay now click on return to users list go to user see now we have to create the access key so click on this create access key you see if you have these options like local code command line interface or anything so i command line interface then click on next okay then select this tick box that is i understand above recommendation then click on next i don't want to provide any tax click on access see we have created the access key okay so download see you can copy see just click on this copy button go to command prompt paste it hit enter then secret key copy click on this copy button or click on show okay this user i have created only for this demo purpose later i am going to delete it so paste it hit enter you can get the same by clicking on this download.csv file click on it to download open it double click see you got the both access key id and secret key id okay then default region see here we have the these regions so select the region from this list and provide the region so i am okay with the us east one suppose if you want like us east one you have to copy this one then you have to provide and you have to hit enter okay now default output formats we have three types json table text formats if you want to verify the same see here we have the json format text format and table format okay you can give any one of them i am going with the json only hit enter see we have successfully configured okay now we can run the example aws cli commands suppose if you want to verify the list of the list of the iam users then type aws iam list hyphen users see i have this user and this user can verify the same go to here go to access go to iam then click on users see here we have these users in the same way if you want to verify the roles aws iam list roles hit enter see we got the list of the roles see the output is page by page so press tab for the next role see here the role name is see this is the role name we go to here see we have the advisor role and next role is rds monitoring role see we have the same rds monitoring role okay again press space bar for next page okay now here let's to clear now you will see list of the s3 buckets in my aws account aws for s3 how to give aws s3 api list buckets hit enter see i have these two buckets and this is the owner information if you go to here then search for s3 then click on s3 see here i have these two buckets see this is the bucket name and this is the creation date same way here and if you want to find the list of ec2 instances aws ec2 list hyphen instances i think this won't work so we have to give cls aws ec2 describe instances it is describe instances see i don't have any ec2 instances we go to ec2 go to instances running see i don't have any instances running okay if you want to find the list of the files in this bucket then go to documentation <coughs> see this is the command to find the list of the aws s3 ls see we have this buckets if you want to get the objects of this bucket just go to aws s3 api list list hyphen objects hyphen v2 version number 2 then hyphen hyphen bucket then provide the name of the bucket so select the bucket name right click enter 
see we have this bucket see like e-commerce e-commerce see it is giving all subfolders you want to see more press spacebar to get all information okay so if you go to here and verify go to this bucket see here we have this folders in this sub also in this folders we have sub folders okay so we got the same output here see the structure is go up see unloaded data movie links see here we have the e-commerce okay under e-commerce we have these options okay see here we have different options like aws amazon ec2 see here we have different options you can practice them okay so in this video we have seen how to download install config aws cli version number two on windows operating systems the process is same on all windows operating systems okay for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you